people man welcome back to the channel guys real quick real quick y'all remember the charger that um i spoke about i don't know yesterday two days ago i can't even remember anyway my part saying guys okay y'all remember where we left off at we was discussing why i needed the parts in the first place uh in, in case you missed that video watch it right here because i don't want to go through the whole ordeal on why i'm replacing them but uh here's some parts okay first of all guys they only want to do one side now i'm against that uh now keep in mind they authorized me to go ahead and tear it down i managed to find out which side was making the noise and i came up with uh bank one so naturally i'm gonna go off my first in instinct i had a choice i mean you really should do both but i chose this one and i went inside and this is what i found okay some would call that a good choice good look uh good luck okay no uh you gotta have a train ear nowadays to find this stuff but um uh, should i have went home went ahead and did, done that side yes because now here's what happened guys uh i could be partly to blame for this customer came out and saw this got an estimate on just this side uh he's under the impression that this is all he needs this will fix his car and from the looks of it he's likely right he might be right you know who am i to say if he's right or wrong <laughs> but i'm a big fan of if you're gonna do lip uh, rock arms do them all but it's a finance thing i understand guys i know the struggle the struggle is real okay so what i've been authorized to do is to repair this side all right now how do you go by repairing that i'm got to replace everything that has come apart uh, i've got to replace the camshaft and all the i'm gonna do all the rock arms on this side now as far as lifters go guys a lot of people always ask me should you do cam should you do rock arms and the lifters if the finance is there yeah guys but i have yet to have the, i have yet to see a lifter cause now lifters are funny creatures guys <laughs> they they hydraulic lifters so they need oil pressure to pump to pump up they got to stay stiff in order to you know compress in order to do its job it has to be stiff so it's hard to really test a lifter especially if a car been sitting for a while naturally naturally the oil is going to drain back into the oil pan so they may feel spongy but i have yet to have a problem out of a lifter okay so i tend to try to give a estimate on exactly what people need so i got 12 rocker arms camshaft here's a camshaft guys uh, now remember what i said about the camshaft in fact um you only need a camshaft if it's damaged these camshafts do not wear somebody asked me how often should i replace my camshaft never the only reason this camshaft would need replacing if the lobes are wore out and something has to cause this this does just don't happen or this tone wheel is loose this is press fit on here so if it's loose you're done you need a camshaft but as far as reasons to replace this camshaft these are the only two reasons they serve no purpose but to rotate and open and close valves so if the lobes are there they're doing it now could i have reused this yes if the lobes were still there <laughs> but this one is shot so you're not gonna open and close the valve you may have a misfire all right so let me uh grab a tool right quick when i get back we're gonna talk about the phasers all right stay tuned i'll be right back all right guys that brings us to the cam phasers all right yes i'm a big fan of this car it has more than a hundred thousand miles y'all know like my motto if it's got more than 80 uh and you in here i recommend doing cam phasers that's what i'm doing on this head simply because it's the only one he won't repair i do not need an exhaust camshaft the lobes are not wore out on this exhaust camshaft this pcv centrifugal and this tone wheel is not loose or damaged so you can use this camshaft all right guys stop wasting people money <laughs> there's no need we got a guy in the shop every time he get one uh e even if it's ticking just a little ticking he don't find no damage he replaced all four camshafts all four phasers all lift on lifters and all rockers okay um i don't know his motto behind it i'm not gonna knock it i just think that's a colossal waste of money to most of the time they cp or even if it's warranty you're wasting chrysler money so you gotta be careful with wasting chrysler money if they get to the point where they want to see all the old camshaft and they find out there's no damage 
those claims can get rejected, guys. So, I mean, just uh, sometimes you got to put yourself in the customer's shoes. All right, they will not appreciate uh, that. Now, we got, I walk around the shop grabbing camshafts that there's absolutely nothing wrong with. And I keep them for a later date when I may need one to diagnose a car or either to use on one of my own product project cars. But phasers, yes, these will fail internally. These are spring-loaded, um, some funny creatures, guys. Okay, and over time, just like anything else, they will wear. Funny thing about these is they can affect timing. Okay, you can end up with like torque ratio codes and all kinds of things. If you ever see like a cam sensor code and you keep throwing cam sensors at it, chances are the phaser is acting up. Uh, when it's engine rotate, guys, <laughs> The phasers and the camshafts rotate along with it. If this phaser is damaged internally where it would not turn properly and affect timing, yes, you can end up with repeated camshaft codes. All right. So I stopped taking the, um, that route and, uh, because these have bit me so many times. So I do these uh, up to 80,000 now when I'm in the car. Right, and uh, I already, uh, in fact, watch this video. I found one that was extremely bad. Watch this video right here. It will show you how to test this from a mechanical standpoint. Okay, you can't go inside and do all of that, but you can, however, stick a wrench on the hex of this and see if this rotate and this do not move. Watch that video. Okay, uh, which brings me to one last thing. Um, be mindful of oil galley plugs on this engine. They tend to work their way loose, all right? Uh, I did a video on that a while back. In fact, watch this video right here. It talks about uh, reasons. Uh, not uh, There's really no reason why they should work their way loose. But when I go back in, I use Loctite so they won't work their way back out. Guys, keep in mind, this is a VVT engine. So lo low oil pressure or low oil level can affect the entire drivability of the car. All right, guys. Last but not least... Uh, the shavings that comes from here and these needle bearings inside these rock arms sorry they're likely in the oil pan they're not going to be captured by the oil filter which is the oil filter's job to filter the lubricating system okay that, those little bearings are so heavy they would not make it up here over in this area and get trapped in the filter watch this video right here i went inside i tore oil filter apart one time looking for shavings i didn't find any but i did however find needle bearings in the oil pan once oil pan was removed okay so watch that video all right guys now why don't you take a look at this guys this is a spark plug tube seal from time to time high mileage cars these would get hard they would essentially just stick on the spark plug tube all right now i have a video right here go check that out showing how to deal with this and how to replace these okay sometimes you can pull them off and reuse them other times you may need to replace them okay now, guys, I'm not going to film this actual job. I have tons of video, 3-6 Pentastar repair videos out, okay? So take your pick. I'll put a lot of them in the, uh, in the description that you can go check out on how to physically do this work, okay? I don't have my tripod. I can just set up here and go for it. All right, so like I say, uh, well, look, I hope you got something out of this conversation, okay? Sometimes a conversation is worth more than the actual physical doing because I feel you need to understand what's going on i get criticized all the time from guys man will you shut up and just do the work <laughs> and guys i told you i have thick skin so i don't get pissed off i'm like yeah man thanks for watching buddy please be patient i think you need to understand what's going on before you dive into it no some people just won't want me to go balls to the walls and just start pulling stuff off without explaining it i understand i used to be like that so again i have thick skin i'm not gonna get pissed or cuss you out or anything <laughs> I'm going to laugh. That's what I'm going to do. But uh, I'm not going to film this, guys. So uh, let me get to work.